So I wanted to share this recipe. It's actually already made, but um, it's really easy and it's all from the local farmer's market and it's stuff that you can find wherever you are. And you can find it in the summer, you can find it in spring, you can find it in the fall, and you can even make it in the winter with local, usually organic produce because it's beets, carrots, and Napa cabbage, which is the big cabbage that John and I showed in the farmer's market video. It's really huge and um, you can use the, the leaves as sandwich wrappers or as taco shells too, which is cool. So this salad is like an Asian coleslaw and you basically take a vegetable peeler or anything like a mandolin, anything that, um, even a big, you know, um, knife, like a chopping knife. I use a food processor with the attachment that shreds things so it makes it like much like a, a coleslaw so you can see it's really shredded up. Um, so again, beets, uh, carrots, Oh, daikon radish was the other thing. Um, really detoxifying daikon radish is great for metabolizing fats and it, um, it boosts any kind of a cleansing program. It's a good thing to add in, really good vegetable. Um, and some of the cabbage and you shred it all up and then you mix it into, I used, like to use my hands because it's really fun. Um, you put it in a big bowl and you add black and white sesame seeds or just whichever you can find, but it's more colorful with the different colors. Um, Wheat-free tamari sauce or Bragg's amino acids or um, namu shoyu, which is um, fermented soy sauce. So anything that's um, it's the non-processed soy sauces, which are great to use. Um, a little bit of wasabi powder. You can get it at the health food store. Um, make sure it has no chemicals or additives in it, uh, no preservatives. Sometimes they try to sneak, like, yellow number five and all those colors in there so make sure that's not in there and no sugar um, and you mix that in with a little bit of water and you make a paste and you pour that on I actually put some um, fresh pureed horseradish in as well so it has that really spicy kick so there's the soy sauce um, or the wheat free soy sauce the uh, wasabi sesame seeds and then I add um, some sesame oil um, you can add any kind of oil, but the sesame oil really height, uh, heightens the flavor a lot. And then if you want a little bit of sweetness, you can add in a touch of agave or a little bit of stevia um, or brown rice syrup. Um, but I actually prefer it without the sweetness. It, it kind of gives it that sweet and sour taste, but I like it just spicy and, and plain without any sweetener. Um, and that's basically it. And you just mix it together. You can use your hands. It's really fun. And you can have this year-round. I mean, it's great for the summer because it's really light and cool and it's no cooking. It's just a raw, wonderful, um, marinated sort of picnic-y dish. Um, it makes a great lunch and it keeps for several days in the fridge. Or you can also, the, the what I like about this is that cabbage, beet, daikon radish, carrots, those are all available in the winter. So this is a great winter dish and you're still eating local and organic and seasonal because those are... Those are also winter um, foods that store really well. So your farmer's market, if you're lucky enough to have an indoor one or a, a health food store that carries local produce, will usually have that stuff in the winter. So um, this is a great, great meal. We're having this tonight for dinner. So yeah, um, find those things at your farmer's market and enjoy.